sorry. I didn't see you there. Sorry, I've been, ugh, I've been working a case. Detective Hell, by the way, if you couldn't tell. I've been working a case, so it's been very stressful. Now, I know, Happy usually does his own theory videos and things like that, but recently they've all been pretty much trash. So I figured at the time I took over. I've been doing research on the Markiplier universe, if any of you have ever heard of it. Or you're just living under a rock. Depends. Today I'm focusing on, God, Damien. Or, in this case, I suppose, Darkiplier. See, Markiplier is very interesting in the terms of YouTuber. He's done things that no other YouTuber has. He's... It's hard to explain. It really is. Just trust me on this one, okay? He's created this story. Usually through Let's Plays and stuff, random moments, strange moments even. Where he introduced Darkiplier, Wilfred Warfstash, and just a funny gag video. To the point where everyone considered Warfstash to be. Just a funny gag. That's not what he was. This all changed when Markiplier created something called Who Killed Markiplier? A strange video, for sure, but it was, it wasn't even like his a date with Markiplier, it was different, very different. It wasn't a choose your own story, you followed the story, you came up with clues, but in the end, it was an ending like no other, and we saw the creation of Darkiplier. We also met a character named Damien. We'd only seen him as this upstanding mayor, upstanding citizen, great person all around. And then he turned into villain, Darkiplier. Strange. No reason for it. And then later, Mark releases something new. Damien. First time he had an animatic, but it was more than that. It also fully explored into Damien the character, in a ways that we never saw before. We see him go from upstanding businessman mayor to a rugged man living in the woods with long hair and an axe. It's a very different look. And I like my cane. I'm not dropping this. You're going to see this throughout the whole video. Lots of strange things were in Damien. And one of the things that we find is at the end, he meets with Actor Mark, and they have a nice discussion. Celine breaks through and kills Actor Mark, except it does absolutely nothing. And at the end, it's confirmed that Damien becomes Darkiplier while Celine takes a break. A lot of people took this as the reason that you are here and that you see this is because, as Mark says, the viewer is a character in this universe. Always is. And so, Damien should be no different, right? And because you're there, that's because you were the third spirit. This is that moment in Who Killed Markiplier when you, Damien, and Celine are all trapped together because you just died. And this is in between those moments. So when Darkiplier takes over and, and Damien becomes Darkiplier. That's not right, though. It's not. Because there's a deeper story here. In order to uncover this, I turn to a date with Markiplier and a few other further references. We see, throughout the course of Markiplier history, very drastic different encounters Darkiplier has with other people. Specifically you, the viewer. In a date with Markiplier, he is fully intent on killing you. And it's strange, but he is. He's fully intent. Fully intent. I'm killing you. And listen to me here. When I say this is a hard case, I filled this thing with notes. We're good. I filled it with notes, though. I've searched every crevice, every tiny minute detail that might make sense. It has to. 
This is Mark Plyer we're talking about. It's like Scott Cawthon. Every detail counts. And I tried. I've been searching. Goodness knows how long I've been searching. But I think I have an idea. Listen. He's in a date with Markiplier. We see, um, date, we see Markiplier go through this whole thing about how he's going to kill you. He's going to kill you. And then you shoot him. Well, it may not be a canon ending because there may not be a canon ending. It's an ending nonetheless. So far, I am convinced every ending has an effect on this universe. When you shoot him, you aren't shooting Damien. You're shooting Celine. And that's when actor Mark gets to have his little moment with Darkiplier. Or Damien, in this case. And Celine breaks through. She kills him. Kills. But that's when you, he gets shot in the outside world. Watching my cat stand on something that's slowly tipping over. That's why I keep looking down. Anyways. It's clear that, well, that shot has to mean something. And we know Dark Applier keeps going on. So, what is it? Elementary, my dear viewer. That's when Damien takes over, and that's when we see Darkiplier take a whole new route. You see, in more recent videos, if you watch Darkiplier's interactions, like a heist with Markiplier, in the Darkiplier ending, he doesn't try and kill you. He doesn't do anything much more than just say, look at this, this box, do you know what's truly inside? I know games are more of his forte. Ah! Allow me to indulge myself for a moment. Hidden throughout this heist are clues. And he goes on. From my understanding, what's actually inside the box is just extended bloopers. Anyways. Extended bloopers. That's the best you could do, Mark. Anyways. That is what lies in the box, but take a moment here. In a date with Markiplier, Darkiplier's first thing was giving you a choice, really, but after that, the only actual correct choice that you can take leads to him attempting to kill you. In a heist with Markiplier, he is not intent on killing you at all. His only intent is to set a game for you to play. To discover a secret that Mark wouldn't have let you know. Dark changes his objective. Now, there are ways you can say, this is just changing objectives, realizing the viewer is not his enemy, but Mark is. No, that's not what this is. That's a switch of ownership. Damien takes over Darkiplier and has a new objective. Instead of trying to go out and kill the viewer and then kill Mark and something like that. He's trying to expose him and then kill him. His focus has shifted from the viewer to Markiplier. He doesn't care about the viewer much anymore. If anything, he's trying to get the viewer onto his side, which shouldn't be hard considering half the fan base absolutely loves Darkiplier. For some reason. But here's where things get complicated. Everything I've told you up until this point has one big gaping hole in it. The viewer is always a character. Unless Damien is the one exception we've had, the viewer is a character. How does he seeing that whole event take place? Now, I just now, and I'm not kidding you, I just now explaining this to you, it's does wonders to theories, because it makes me come up with things on the spot. But, I just now thought, when you, we were left behind in that house, we became omnipotent. Not in the sense that we can do anything, or do everything, but in the sense that we can now see everything, allowing us to see things, like the Wilford Wharf stash encounter. 
you can see Abe and Wilford talking about that because you can now go and see anything. You are dead. You can no longer interact with the world. But you can watch it. And that does mean you are different characters. Throughout a heist with Markiplier and a date with Markiplier, those are different encounters. You are different people in those scenarios. Or you figured out how to possess people. Either one is a possibility. But, that is my solution to Damien. Could I be wrong? Absolutely. There's tons of plot holes, I'm sure, just waiting to be unveiled. But, I'm trusting you'll point those out to me. In the meantime, I'll see you all later. Stay safe during these times and keep investigating. If you have any information, let me know. And as a final note, any of you who've been searching for an Unus Honest theory, I have one. It builds off of a pr another th great detective's uh, work, Detective Matt Pat. He did some great work with Unus Honest. I had a plan to continue it for him, uh, go a little more in depth on more recent things and confirmations that have been done as we're leading up to the end. But I don't think I will. I don't think I will solve it. I don't think I'll even record it. Because in the end, what? Unus Honest will be gone, and the story will be over. And no one will care. So, with that, memento mori. I'll see you later.